hello and welcome to another interesting video with key to dl and key to dl means key to driving license here you get all your concept concept clear and today's topic deals with a very interesting area of the driving license test and the topic is eco driving and in this video we are going to deal with step by step about the eco driving tips eco driving sweden eco driving uh, manual transmission eco driving with automatic transmission so if you are looking to pass your driving test in sweden or anywhere any european countries so this is the video you must watch so in this video we'll deal with top how to drive economically how to save money on fuel it is also called environment friendly driving or in short uh, eco driving so this is one of the section out of five sections one of the major section and you must know to pass your driving test at least in sweden why it is environment friendly because if you know how to drive environment friendly way you release less carbon dioxide to the environment and that's why it is called environment friendly driving and without the knowledge of environment friendly driving or eco driving you are not going to pass your driving test so stay tuned with the video until the end so let's get started without any delay what is eco driving okay let's go to the eco driving tip number 1 when you are practicing with a manual transmission avoid using first gear it is simply because consuming more fuel means more emission of carbon dioxide to the environment which is not good for any of us neither environment nor to any human being that is why practicing with eco driving mode or eco driving is so important not only for you to improve your driving skills but also to pass your driving test in sweden or in any european countries or canada usa australia germany anywhere and this was the tip number 1 on eco driving okay then coming to the eco driving tips number 2 whenever possible drive at a high gear as much as you can you use less fuel in high gear so less toxic substances are released into the environment if traffic allows you to drive in a higher gear then you must do so for example in motorways highways and country roads use higher gear if possible but only use higher gear if possible if the traffic situation allows you to do so then you must drive with higher gear because there is less fuel consumption means less toxic substances releasing to the environment and that is what its eco driving means okay coming to eco driving tips number 3 accelerate as soon as possible when you take your driving test accelerate your car as soon as possible this is a good tip but remember not to exceed the maximum speed limit if you are joining a motorway from a country road accelerate as soon as you can and likewise if you are joining a 60 km hour zone or 60 km hour road from a 30 km hour road accelerate as soon as you can but remember don't go over 60 km per hour speed limit here because that is the maximum allowed speed limit never ever exceed the maximum speed limit maximum allowed speed limit but if traffic allows you should go with this within the speed limit okay coming to the next eco driving tips or eco driving tips eco driving tips number 4 don't use the clutch unnecessarily in eco driving manual transmissions it is important to drive with minimal clutch use when you use a clutch you consume more fuel and that means you emit more toxic substances into the atmosphere 
use the cloth only when it is necessary many people they use cloths uh, unnecessarily all the time and that that consumes more fuel and more release of carbon dioxide to the environment and that is not good for the that is not good and that is also not a eco, eco driving mode so coming to eco driving tips number 5 skip gears when driving in manual transmission so skipping gears with manual transmission is a good practice for your driving test skipping gears in manual transmission mode is a good practice for your driving test instead of changing gear serially for example 1 2 3 4 and 6 you should change them like 2 to 4 to 6 so don't go serially like if you are going to the third gear then don't go to one and then second and then third and if you are going to the fourth gear then don't do like 1 2 3 4 in this way you change you skip the gears like go to second then go to four and go to six and in this way fuel consumption is reduced and less fuel is consumed and then you can not only save money on the fuel but also it is good for eco driving or driving in an environmentally friendly way environment friendly way and this is what in your driving examiner is expected you to drive in such a way that it should be environment friendly and this is the topic you should be 100% clear before going to the driving test okay and now coming to the last tip or eco driving tips number 6 avoid unnecessary braking and stopping so don't brake everywhere when it is not necessary and don't stop everywhere if the traffic allows you to go then go with the flow of the traffic don't stop or don't brake don't put the, your foot onto the brake all the time so if a red light appears and there is no following cars or dangers release your foot from the gas pedal and brake pedal and then it will automatically engine brake will use and then your car go slower with the engine brake if necessary put the press little bit brake but avoid using unnecessary brake you should use the engine brake as much as you can but just to make sure that it does not put anyone in danger or in anyone in in the surroundings or you should not break any traffic regulation or rules so don't go cross over a red light without putting your brake without just expecting your engine to uh, engine brake to stop don't do that and use your brake at that time but in normal circumstances avoid using unnecessary brake if we are going to a 60 km per hour speed and there is no traffic uh, behind or front then don't go slow break up and down don't go that go with the 60 km per hour speed limit but within the speed limit always go within the speed limit and these are the tips for eco driving let's recap all those eco driving tips so that you don't forget them and apply in your driving practice or driving test so eco driving tip number 1 avoid using fast gear if you are taking practicing or taking your driving test in manual transmission mode avoid using fast gear eco driving tip number 2 drive in a high gear if you can remember drive in a high gear if if you can if possible you should drive in a high gear eco driving number tip 3 accelerate as soon as possible when there is a chance to accelerate you should accelerate as soon as possible eco driving number tip number 4 don't use the clutch unnecessarily so never ever use the clutch when it is not necessary eco driving number tip <laughs> eco driving tip number 5 practice tra- practice driving with skipping gears practice driving with skipping gears skipping gears is a good practice and the last tip eco driving tip number 6 avoid 
unnecessary breaking and stopping avoid unnecessary breaking and stopping so when there is no need to break no need to stop don't do that use these tips to practice driving for your driving test or exam and pass with confidence thank you for watching this video and if if you enjoyed it please please like and subscribe and share with your friends those who are taking the driving test or final road test and i'll be back soon with an another interesting driving video until then bye and good luck with your driving test hey do